Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back today with a quick video. Um, I haven't had a one again for a week or so, I'm really sorry, I'm just struggling to find time to fit everything in. So today is just a bit of a quick one, but um, Christmas cards, we all sort of need inspiration for Christmas cards. And this one I think is quite, um, quite a good little design. So what I've got is some Lear and Star dies. And I've got a card which I cut to four and one eighth and I scored it in the middle at five and seven eighths. And then I've cut a little bit of paper here. But before we do anything, I'm gonna cut roughly two inches off what would what would be the front of the card. Okay, so about two inches I'm gonna cut off. <clears throat> So we end up with that and then this paper should just sort of fit on there like that okay and then I'm going to glue this on here first And then what I'm going to do is take, so I've took the two biggest stars, so the second biggest I am going to cut out. Now when we put the star on to cut out we don't really want to like have it right over here, we want it to be sort of the same, come to the same sort of length as the card there, okay. so. I'll just grab my machine and we will cut this out. I mean you can you can tape it down if you want just to make sure you get it in the right place but I'm just gonna Hopefully it stays pretty still. All right, so I've cut it out and we end up with that. Now, sit back down. So, what I've done again is with them two same dies, so the two largest sizes, I've cut out <clears throat> the same paper but the reverse of it. I've cut that out um, like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stick that on there like that. Okay, I've also cut out some some from glitter card so I've just cut one out from each other so we end up with the two sizes and we're going to make a shaker with this so those lines that you have in the card you will be able to glue that straight on there and it just sort of Will match in with the, the card if you get what I mean. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the glittery star here, I'm going to turn it over. Now I also cut some out with acetate, cut a star out with acetate. Now it's a little bit big so I'm going to trim a little bit more off because when you cut these when you cut acetate it won't cut all the way through in your die cutting machine but it will leave the lines and then you can you know just sort of trim them out with your scissors unless you get I think you can get some acetate which does die cut better than others but you know I don't really mind cutting around it too much so <clears throat> Got the acetate. Yeah, that's a lot better. So 
I'm going to put some glue just to glue the acetate onto the star. All right. If there is any sticking over, you can just trim it off. Okay, so this is going to get stuck in there like so. I'm just going to put glue around there. And then this will end up getting stuck in over like that as our shaker. So I want foam tape around here. Right, so I'm going to put a few little sequins in here. Let's see. Okay. And then I'm going to attach this star front just on to here. You always get a few that stick in the middle. Isn't that so pretty? And then what you can do on the inside to make it look, um, you know, like it's not just been stuck on is we're gonna put another one on the inside like that. Now, what I'm gonna do with the front bit though is I thought it actually looks quite nice sticking that one over like that. So I am gonna put just a bit of glue isn't that so pretty and then what I think I'll do because I've already got this cut is I may just use this to cover the inside but you can you know obviously cut them in glitter card or any you know any color card and they don't just have to be for Christmas either you could make these for any time of the year birthdays whatever you want and then as I said we're going to cover that so when you know the person opens it up it you know it doesn't just sort of look like we've just you know stuck it there if you, if you get what I mean it looks just more uniform doesn't it more tidy really so and it will fit in it should still fit in the same size envelope that you've made it for so I just want to decorate the front a little bit so I'm just going to grab some stamps Okay, so I, I, what I decided to go for was a little die that I had, which is Ho Ho Ho. So I've just cut it out of the three, the, the two colours I've used on the star. And I think that is so nice. Inside we've got our star and then I've just cut a little piece of card for the inside. Before I stick that down, I'm going to stamp a stamp, which is Have Yourself a Merry Christmas which is this you get loads of lovely stamps I've got this on my website and I'm going to stamp this ok 
Okay. And I'm just going to glue that in there. There we go. So have a try. I think it's a lovely idea. Now, it obviously stands up, but just be wary when you cut the star out. Maybe manoeuvre it so the point isn't there because it's just making the card tip just slightly. But yeah, I really like that. I'll have all the info on my blog and I will be back on Sunday. I've got a sort of 3D, well, a bigger project on Sunday. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.